Kohululimla, Yahweh Bashim Yahweshai, Bahashem Rakahakodash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth, and just want to say the water toward the Akim and Akwaf, that thou here sincerely keep on the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweshai to the best of their ability. Shachanan Awaf just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, the greeting that I, you know, said in the beginning, um, all praises, or Koholoyim La, is all praises to Yahweh, which is the true name of the Father um, in heaven that created all things. His name is Yahweh, which means he exists or the existing one. And the true name of his son, Bahashem, I said Bahashem, which is in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. That's the true name of the son, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus. Is Yahweh Shai, which means he's the savior or deliverer in Paleo Hebrew. And um, the Rakach Wadash, that's the Holy Spirit. And um, all praises to the Most High, man. Yahweh. Uh, okay, so seeing this article in the Independent just further shows, you know, that uh, hey, women got it the best in this world. The, 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 the so called <laughs> the so called white man and the, and the, and the woman. And just women in general, they have it the best in the world. Like they just don't get in trouble like nobody else. They, you know, they're 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 greatly taken care of. Even though they treat the rest of the people like shit, it don't matter what they do. They just have a great life, you know. So <laughs> this story is is just ridiculous, man. It says boy nine years old, right, who lived alone for two years in an unheated flat went unnoticed because he was a good pupil. So a little man's living by himself for you know for two years straight at nine years old, you know. Okay, so eh, boy, I tell you, a nine year old. Now this is France, mind you. Now, so I'm not sure how they getting down over in France, but you think anywhere in the world, you know, um, in this day and time, this is unacceptable, man. A nine year old boy in France was abandoned for two years in an unheated apartment, living alone. And scrounging food from neighbors. His mother, who left him in 2020 to fend for him, for himself, has been sentenced. Check it out. Check it out now. Check out her sentence. Has been sentenced to a six-month prison term to be served at her home. <laughs> you cannot make this up, man. She hey, so basically she got six months uh, you know, uh jail time at the crib, man. With damn. Her son live along her her son lived alone in their council flat that had no, electri no electricity or hot water and even managed to get himself to school where teachers suspected nothing because he was a good pupil. You know, a little man. <laughs> According to uh, the newspaper, he mostly lived off cakes and cold tin foods, occasionally pilfering tomatoes from neighboring balconies. Uh, the boy who washed in cold water often wrapped himself up in, sleep in a sleeping bag and had to sleep under three blankets, the paper said. Neighbors helped him by giving him food before one anonymously reported the case to the authorities in 2022. An, an investigation revealed the mother was living three miles away with her new boyfriend. <laughs> man, hey, I, I can't even, I don't even know if this is an Edomite or if this is an a, a Israelite woman, man. But either way. It, 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 it go, it's going on between all of the nations of women these days, man. They just not caring about these kids, man. She went to and, and what kind of new boyfriend? You know what I'm saying? It, 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 who knows? He's probably on dope or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Because even a new boyfriend, you would think that he would be humane enough to say, well, hey, you know, what about little Jimmy? <laughs> Bring him on over, man. You know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? This shit is crazy. But he more than likely probably didn't want nothing to do with him. And these women will leave they kid, they kid, they they'll do their kids all kinds of dirty for um a man. They open that quiver, man. The scriptures is real, man. It says the court heard that the 39 year old, who was charged with abandoning, and endangering a minor, visited her son from time to time to take him food. The boy's father, who lived in another town, was not charged, and the boy was taken into care at age 11. So, I mean, even amongst his dad, man, you think his dad would be making enough trips by, you know, to know that his son is there for two years by himself? Like, goddamn. Come on, bro. When the neighbors had expressed concerns to the mother, she said she was caring for him and to stay out of her business. <laughs> the school did not raise the alarm because he appeared normal and clean and earned good marks. 
Barbara Cochier, the mayor of Nursac, said he appeared so normal. <laughs> hey, little man's just saying, he's like, fuck it, man, I'm, I'm out here. He was smiling, a very good pupil, always clean and polite. Nothing suggested he was abandoned. I challenge anyone who say, who can say they would have detected this situation, she told the local media. Well, hey, I will say, hey, man, um, you know, there was a day and time where you grew up a lot quicker than, than, than they do now. You got motherfuckers that's 18, 19, 20, 30, 40, damn, you're still living with their parents, man. You know what I'm saying? They can't even, you know, get out here and really make it happen for themselves, you know? So at nine years old, to do something like that, of course, he wasn't working no job. You know, of course, obviously, the lady must have, she either owned a flat or she was paying, you know, the, the rent to keep the, you know, because, of course, you know, the landlord would have, you know, got wind of it or something like that. But you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, but shit, man, he was handling, man. So that lets you know right there. So to you comfortable Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, even you so-called white people, are you comfortable people that's here in the Americas? You you better get ready for something like this right here where you don't have no damn lights, no gas. It's a lot of people that don't, though. Don't get me wrong. But this is coming to a theater near you where you're not going to have no electricity. You know, where you're going to have to... Matter of fact, this storm that just happened here in, um, in Michigan here, a lot of people, electricity was out for the past... Shit, still out. <laughs> Been out for a week. Cold as shit here, you know, having to bundle up in five, six, seven blankets. So imagine having to do that, you know, for two winters. And then, you know, just to just, you know, scrounge for food. Here you go. You got a nine-year-old that's able to handle these Americans. Man, a nine-year-old in America... A fucking 18 year old, a 17 year old in America, man, can't handle like that. They might be able to hold it, you know, stay at the crib. They'd be able to call some friends over doing some dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? And and, and probably scrounge for some food. But, you know, they they wouldn't fare well, man. <laughs> they they wouldn't fare well, man, here in the Americas, man. Anyway, I'm going to grab a quick scripture here in a sec here. I don't want to keep bumbling. Uh. But of course, hey, it says even you know, he was clean, he was polite. It said yeah, you wouldn't have noticed. His mother told the court her son had lived with her, but analysis of her phone records showed that her phone had hardly even been at the flat. Okay, so yeah, okay. Anyway, you know, of course, the, the comments, you know, the comments, how that people, hey man, but that boy, I tell you, man, the woman, boy, you, you women, man, y'all, y'all done got ridiculous, man. In these, these last days. <laughs> and it's not all women. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know. But man, man, man. Ooh, wee, boy. Anyway, let's go into... I wanted to go into the Apocrypha real quick. Uh, no, is that what we want? Uh, let me see here. Boy. Man, hey, look. This whole, this whole chapter right here, though. It's, it's, it's just you know Ecclesiastes twenty five. It's a, it's a it's a it's a a great place to go, man. If you want to learn about <laughs> you know a hey, the suffering that comes from a woman, man. Uh, Ecclesiastes twenty five. Let's start at verse thirteen. Give me any plague but the plague of the heart, and any wickedness but the wickedness of a woman, and any affliction but the affliction from them that hate me and. Any revenge but the revenge of enemies. Uh, let's go to verse 16. I had rather dwell with a lion and a dragon than to keep house with a wicked woman. So he was probably better off anyway, man, by himself, man. To just be straight honest, man. Because <laughs> if she was that wicked, man, ain't no telling what she'd have been like had she not had the boyfriend to be in the house with him to be, you know. Ain't no telling how what she was doing to that boy when, when you know, whenever she was there. The wickedness of a woman changes her face. And darkeneth her countenance like sackcloth. Her husband shall sit among her neighbors, and when he heareth it, shall sigh bitterly. All wickedness is but a little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. Hey, Amen. Yeah, it's a lot that goes off into this. Well, let me go to uh, let's go to uh, lamentation. Yeah, we got to do better, man. We got to do better. Uh, verse three, even the sea monster draw out the breast. They give suck to their young ones. The daughter of my people has become cruel like the ostriches in the wilderness. The tongue of the sucking child cleaveth to the roof of his mouth for thirst. 
the young children ask bread and no man breaketh it unto them. So, you know, but I mean, you know, a couple of the neighbors was helping out. But, you know, you get the point that that um, the care is not there, basically, is what the scriptures is going into. You know what I'm saying? The care is just not there. You know, a lot of these these parents, man, they be getting high. <laughs> They'll leave the crib, man, and, and won't come back. It's been plenty. I've done um, multiple lessons this um, past year on, you know, women leaving young babies. I'm talking about babies that can't even open a refrigerator or can't even reach the stove to cook nothing or, you know, then left them at home, you know, by themselves and come back, you know, down week later and the baby's just dead. And you know what I'm saying? And, you know, just just crazy, man. I mean, you know, this, this is the world you're living in. Oh, this is Esau Edom's kingdom. So it's to be expected and it's going to get a lot worse. But, you know, a few things you can get out of this, you know, is that, hey, shit, you can survive, man. <laughs> All you need is a little shelter over your head because he didn't have no electricity. All he had was some cold water, you know. I don't know how he was warming water up. I guess he was just, you know, hey, you know, I know some of the brothers be going off into like cold showers and stuff like that and how healthy they are. You know what I'm saying? Something he could have got used to, you know, um, you know, conditioning his body to um, get used to, you know what I'm saying, over time. I'm not sure, you know, what part of France or how cold it may have, may have gotten in, you know, his area. But shit, you know, yeah, that's, you know, you three or four months of it, you know what I'm saying, you know, that's, a, you know, a quarter of the year. So pretty much, I guess, between out of the two years, he spent at least six months of that shit in the cold, you know, depends on how long their seasons last and how cold it is. I know here, you know, we just had that, that like I said, that polar vortex came through, so it got down, you know, below zero. So shit, it can get pretty brisk out here where everything just frees up, the pipes freeze up, so you can't get no water through anyway. But, you know, like I said, again, survival tactic, tactics, because um, I was, and it's crazy, I was looking at a, a sleeping bag today, what was it, yesterday? Yesterday and today, actually, and, um, you know, I was checking out a few of them, and, they, you know, they got some that, that will hold you down, man, in, in, some, in some pretty grave temperatures, so it might be, you know, wise to invest into one, because you just, just never know, you know what I'm saying, we... You know, um, a lot of the apostles and elders been going off into the things that are to come. And, hey, never know what your lot might be. You might be on the go. You might be living out of your ride. If you got a ride, you might be living out here in open air or a damn tent or just out of a backpack. But if you hey, if you able to hit a tent, you got a tent and you got a sleeping bag. Psh. I remember when I first came into this truth, um, um, the apostle to heart. He uh he mentioned um uh, you know always have you know get you a good pair of uh, waterproof boots, rainproof boots type of deal. You know what I'm saying? Now you know I, I grab some too <laughs> because you just never know, man. You you know you just never know what um our lot may be. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing to have a uh a, a few things. You know what I'm saying? Um, as far as like survival wise type of deal, you know, and just in general anyway, it's just wise and prudent to have a you know candles or light um you know batteries or you know, um, flashlights for for light and, you know, um, warmth, nice comfort or whatever, you know what I'm saying? A sleeping bag could come in handy, depends, you know. But, hey, it's people that live off the um, off the grid like that, man, and don't have no problems with it. And we're having no other way. But this is a clear evidence that this can be done. <laughs> That's the way I'm looking at it right now. He's nine years old, man, taking cold baths, man, with no electricity, just... Kind of just scrounging for some food, man. I mean, the Lord looked out for him regardless. I mean, you know, still, he's he's all right. They said he was coming to school. He was smiling. He was clean. He was a good pupil. It wasn't like he was stressing. <laughs> hey, and sometimes, I mean, you know, hey, you know, sometimes, you, you know, people can be, condi you can be conditioned like that. That's, as a matter of fact, that's pretty much overall what we're doing in this truth, man. We're, um, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, he's conditioning us to be a certain way he's conditioning us to not depend upon the things that so many people depend upon you know what i'm saying we're you know we, we're not out here looking for the things that the gentile want you know we're we're you know we're about our daily bread which the, you know yahweh provides daily you know he has given us um you know our, our food water clothing and and shelter you know our health and those are our vital things that i mean that's the real day-to-day -day thing man you know what i'm saying that you need you know but you got these people out here, man, they want every goddamn thing. They work themselves to the bone to try and get stuff that don't even matter. 
work themselves to the bone and get some shit that's just a trend, you know, work themselves to the bone for people that don't even love them. <laughs> so in these last days, you know, this is the, you know, it's a good, 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 good thing to be uh, a stoic, so to speak, or, a, a, um, you know, a person to yourself type of deal. But anyway, I just wanted to touch on this. I thought it was interesting, you know, to see all those things that was in the article and that a nine year old could, um, you know, actually get down like that. I mean, hey, back in the days, you know, you could get down. But these days, yeah, that would be dangerous. You know what I'm saying? He, you know, if, if somebody had got caught wind of him being there by himself, you know, some damn freak offs or some weirdos or some damn criminals or whatever, whatever, you know what I'm saying? So, he, you know, they, you know, nobody fell upon him like that. So that was a good thing, I guess. But anyway, you know, it's clear that you can see that you can survive, man. So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Quite myself.